Hey guys, Sirius313, and welcome back to what's probably going to be the most popular video in the series, and that is troubleshooting LSPDFR. Yes, I'm going to teach you how to fix any issue that you might have with the game not loading, it crashing, whatever it may be, we are going to cover it. So first things first, you've loaded up LSPDFR, and it just keeps crashing, it will not stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go check our GTA root folder right here. And I want to make sure first that everything is in the folder that should be in the folder. Like I said uh, in part one, part one was all about installing fresh. You've never uh, installed LSPDFR. You've never modded this folder. But this is in case you have done that. Uh, what we're going to look for are some key things that LSPDFR needs to run. So you need to make sure that it did install Ragehook. You need to make sure that it did install in the plugins folder. You see LSPDFR first response. These plugins are crucial. You also need to look for the LSPDFR folder. This has all the stuff in it uh, as well to run LSPDFR. And you have police scanner, which is all the audio. If you do not have these two folders uh, with those contents in it, your game will not work. It will crash. Um, another common mistake that I see from uh, doing these installs with people is they have an outdated rage hook or outdated script hook. I'm going to show you how to do that and look for that stuff. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and right click rage hook. You're going to run as an administrator like you normally do. I'm going to hold shift as I do this though, because I want to bring up the rage menu. The rage menu will allow me to verify the game version the Rage version, and I'll be able to see uh, if the plugins are properly set to install. So here we go, here's the Rage. And like I showed in part one, we have Grand Theft Auto right here. Uh, we have Rage 38, so we can see it's green, we can see that it's up to date, it's right. This should work. Now we go into plugins, we wanna make sure that this is checked. You can go in here and uncheck it, recheck it, whatever. Um, and then we would hit save and launch. Well, let's say you're having uh, a crash right before LSPDFR even loads. Or uh, Rage isn't doing anything. You're like, I hit Rage, I do run as uh, administrator, and nothing happens. Well, what you want to do is you want to come check the Rage requirements. Rage requirements are very important because it tells you what you need for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. You want to make sure that you have these pre-installation uh, requirements uh, downloaded and installed in your game or else it will not work. So you're going to need Microsoft Framework 4.6 and you're going to want the X64. Now I did link all of these in the description below, that way you have them. But if your game is not working, there's a good chance that this is the reason why Rage is not even coming up. So make sure that you go through these, you download them, you install them, and then once again, go ahead and do a reinstall or do a a relaunch of Rage uh, from your admin, and go ahead and just click that run as admin, and Rage should come up as normal. Another reason why Rage uh, will not work for some people is if you've played around in OpenIV. Uh, we haven't touched on OpenIV yet in the tutorial series, but I'll show it here. So the Open 4, we just open it up. Oh, and it looks like we have a new update available. I don't want to do that at this time. But basically, you have to go into the ASI Manager, and you have to click... Uh, Go under Tools, ASI Manager, and make sure that those two are installed. If you have that in, uh, uninstalled and you're trying to access uh, certain ASI files like cars or certain mods, it will crash the game if that is not installed. So these are some of the real common uh, reasons why LSPDFR will fail to launch. So what do you do when uh, it does fail to launch and you've checked those, uh, you've installed the framework, you've installed the C++ Studio, uh, everything seems to be running. So uh, it's time to go back to basics, basically. If you've looked at your folder and your, you have those things in the LSPDFR in the plugins folder, and you have, uh, you know, Rage Hook, you have Script Hook in here, you know it should be working. It's time to maybe check the date. 
check the version. So what we do is we go back, just like we did in part one of the video when we were preparing, we look at uh, LSPDFR, make sure that you have the latest version or just get a new version. Sometimes it, it breaks. So download that. And then I would grab Rage Hook again, go to downloads. And once again, all these are in the descriptions, all the links that you need. Uh, as of right now, uh, this video is up to date for version 678 of GTA running with Rage Hook 38. Uh, once you get that, then it's off to Script Hook. And once again, 678.1. Now, when GTA does update uh, like they like to do, this does break your script hook and rage hook. Uh, the game will not work. It'll say that the game is not compatible with uh, this version. So when that happens, basically what you need to do, like I was showing you, is go to uh, run as administrator. Let that open up. Hold shift as you do this. So we can get that rate access to that rage menu. See if it'll come up for us. Still holding shift. Now the rage menu is up. I can see that this is not red once again. But in the uh the case that it was and Rage Hook is or Grand Theft Auto is updated and the Steam version no longer works. So you have to come over to game settings and revert. If you have a backup, I guess I should go over that first. So do a backup. It's always good to do that. Um, on the fresh install uh, tutorial, I went over a backup and then basically you just go to revert and then when the new version is here, you'll see a second layer of launcher version and it'll have revert right here instead of delete and you can go right back to a version that works and your game is uninterrupted. And so then we'll just go ahead, we'll exit out of here because we don't want to start anything. Um, and if you're still having issues, it's downloads. If you're still having issues within within this folder after you reinstall Rage Hook, after you reinstall Script, then it Hook, might be time to look at your antivirus. Um, it might be time to disable it or see if something is blocking the files. Um, you could also have a problem in your plugins folder. Let me make a quick LSPDFR folder. Because callouts go in LSPDFR folder right here. If you look at the file path, GTA plugins LSPDFR. Now I see a lot of people putting it in the plugins folder. It doesn't go in here. Uh, callouts in here will break the callout and could break the game. You want them to go into the plugins folder or the, the LSPDF plugins LSPDFR folder and be in this area. Now, usually there's two parts to a plugin. Well, there's three on some of them. There's the plugin, INI, and DLL. They go right here. Then if you go in here, there's audio. You'll see in the police scanner, whatever plugin it is, there should be audio. Those go in there. And then you'll see in the main root folder, uh, like elbows will have elbow common or stealth or rage native. They'll have some kind of... Uh, uh, main file dot uh, dll that runs in the main file and those are very important if you if you put them in the wrong place you put the plugins in, in here in the plugins folder and not in the actual lspdfr where it automatically uh, runs it in game that will crash your game so those are some things that you might want to think of looking at what i would do is i would go in um, say like you can get into LSPDFR, the game runs fine, but when you hit go on duty, all of a sudden your game crashes. That's most likely going to be something in the plugins folder or in the callouts folder. Best way to do that is just delete it all out and reinstall it. And I'm going to go over installing a proper callout and proper plugin in one of the next tutorial videos. But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Well, until next time, I'm Sirius313, and this is goodbye.